All right. Well, you know, I come from Yuma, Arizona. Um, and, uh, you know, although we are sensitive to a lot of things. Excuse me. Yeah, I know that was bad, but, I mean, it could be worse. Um, you know, there is a military term. Like, uh, you know, my dad wasn't in the military, but, yeah, we'd camp a lot. We did rough stuff. Um, my dad was a mechanic of the neighborhood, stuff like that. And, uh, you know, we came from a military town, Yuma, Arizona. You the Marine base right there, YPG down the ways. Um, you know, I have military in my family, my tío, my other tío, my uncle, um, my cousin, well, my cousin's husband, who's also a police officer. And, um, you know, like, uh, I'm not trying to rip into anybody, but sometimes we need a little bit tougher skin. I'm not exactly, whenever I talk the way I talk, um, I'm not sitting here cussing at anybody. Or maybe I'm just an old cuss, you know, but I'm definitely not trying to curse anybody. Um, you know, I'm not trying to tell people if they don't do it the way that I do it, then they're damned or this or that or they're going to burn in hell or anything like that. I mean, actually, it seems to be the opposite. Um, you know, we live in a universe where energy moves, equal and opposite reactions such as that. But um, in the military, there is a term. It's called the donkey dick. And, uh, hey, I didn't, term, I didn't name it. I'm just explaining words I've learned. And um, that's basically, you know, a pump, a gas pump. Or a, for a gas can. It's the thing you attach to a gas can to uh, put in your gas hole. Putting a donkey dick in your gas hole. And blowing it out your tailpipe. And, um... I don't know. Maybe that's why some things have two trunks. One in front, one in the back. Um, you know, whatever. I'm just... I designed a clean energy process. What do you want me to say? I didn't because I'm not good enough. Because I don't speak the right words. Because I don't know the proper language. Um, no, I don't know the proper scientific terms. But... Einstein explains the simpler a theorem's premise, the further or the broader its applicability. Meaning, you know, like if I can, if I can get it from right here, a normal guy without all them big words added to it, I, I understand, you know, yeah, some things you have to be careful for. I mean, I know Fresno State is an ag school, as I was told, when I had an officer checking me out because I was trying to talk to our, you know, the, uh, the pride of our city, our, our city's pride, that, uh, you know, the president of the university, that, you know, you remember the athletic director. I mean, I wasn't there. I didn't do that. But somehow I'm the bad guy by trying to uh, make sure the same thing doesn't happen to me. You know, like somebody doesn't try and ruin my life, ruin my work, ruin everything I've been working for in life to protect, I don't know, the pride of the city. Um, what is the pride of the city? It's its people. It should be its people. Um, I mean, law enforcement? What are they there for? To enforce the law. Now, when law enforcement comes after me because I got physics to Fresno State, um, I mean, they're also there as peace officers. I mean, following these things, instead of telling me I'm the bad guy, um, you know, and, yeah, my name happens to be Tony. It doesn't say toes and knees. I mean, you know, I explained some of that further on in the video or the set of videos for YouTube. Um, and also, you know, I parked my car on the courthouse lawn a few months back. I have a case coming up October 18th because I took my car and, you know, the same paint pens I painted this hat with, Blue Limited, a nonprofit I'm trying to start. Um, also TDK, Talon Dad, Casey Tech. Um, 
you know, like I painted my car explaining, I got the physics to Fresno State. They're all peer-reviewed physics. They show a change in our understanding of entropy. There is a derivation. That is my personal theory. I got that, excuse me, personally to the head of physics at Fresno State. Now, I don't know if Doug is head of physics again yet, but it seems funny that the head of physics position disappeared and then we had a hall sitting chair and uh well that thing on my hand right there that I, that you see it doesn't mean reduce love it's step one reduce reuse recycle i'm pretty sure that is what we've been teaching and trying to learn for quite some time and we as the parents we need to do our job we can't be the children saying, no, don't take away my toys. Don't change my toys. I want my old rusty toys. I don't like the new toys. But the new toys sound pretty damn cool to me. You know, like Elon Musk was building a freeway. He already had that damn thing sold to Saudi Arabia. Four or five, six hundred miles an hour is top speed. You cannot do that in a Lamborghini. You cannot do that in a Porsche. You cannot do that even if your parents went away and you stole a brand new Porsche. Would they mind? Ah, uh, well, of course not. Um, I'll just take it for a little spin and maybe show it off to a couple of friends. I'll just cruise around the neighborhood. Well, maybe I shouldn't. Yes, of course I should. Um, I designed a clean energy process. I got the physics to Fresno State. Um, the patent process explains you can't reverse engineer stuff, which Stephen Hawking admittedly explains, hey, my math is reverse engineered to fit the theory, which is not a scientific process. Um, and I got it right. And I apologize, I'm not the right guy for the job. Unless, you know, the guy that gets it is the right guy for the job. Um, I got the stuff where it needed to be, to be tested for safety. Um, which seems like a pretty damn adult thing to do, don't you think? Instead of pretending like, oh, I'm a dangerous guy. No, I took it to the head of physics to make sure it was safe. I've been chased off the school three times until I bumped into a Sergeant Gavel who explained, the physics department does not need you here. And, you know, being nice as I was trying to be, I was like, listen, officer, I am not an officer. And I, I apologize. Actually, I, Sergeant Gavel was really cool. Um, but, you know, he was doing his job as I'm the boss, I'm the authority. And um, I wasn't trying to disrespect that authority or chain of command because I'm part of the chain of command whenever it comes to damn physics. But, um, you know... Whenever he told me that and I felt disrespected, I looked at him and said, well, Sergeant Gavel, if you deserve your own family name, you're not just a security guard for the teachers and such at the school. You are also an officer of the law. You have to be the judge also. You have to use your own judgment. And um, immediately he had me call an attorney. He said, you should call an attorney. Now I did. And unfortunately for me, or maybe fortunately for me, the attorney I contacted was one of Fresno State's own attorneys. Now, I don't know what Fresno State's job is. I don't know if it's to do right for its community. I mean, it is the pride of our community. Um, I don't know if it's to do right for history. Um, you know, even science has history. And uh, hey, I designed a clean energy process. Um, you know, there were thermodynamics, a couple of the grandfathers of thermodynamics. I mean, it's a frustrating, frustrating, you know, area. And, um, you know, there's actually warnings. Some people say they're, uh, you know, like jokingly say, you might want to not get into this area because it just might not be for you. But, um, oddly... I walked in and it was fit perfect for me because I found a 
difference, derivation and entropy nobody else had. Now, I, I'm sorry I don't have the proper qualifications to walk up and be like, hey, look, I discovered something. You know, as one in 1,000 astrological things like comets and stuff, you know, those are found by outsiders. One in 10,000 is found by outsiders or amateurs in physics. Now, I found entropic derivation. I wrote a definition for gravity um, with the mass that actually pinpoints the energy source. Um, I also, you know, without those pieces, we wouldn't know why pi is pi. Um, you know, pi, that weird symbol thing. Shunk, shunk, shunk. Um, what else? I've always written that backwards. Now I see why. I actually see it right there. Whenever I did it, you know, um, it always came out backwards. I always had to do the loop backwards instead of, you know, um, or whatever, you know. But uh, we have actually astrological signs and psychology. Well, you know, they show up in psychology as well as physics and psychology. And um, to top that off, like in the standardized tests, I was in the 99th percentile in math and sciences. And in that 99th percentile, they explained that if I walked into a room with 30,000 people, um, me and one in, you know, me and three other people, or me and one in 10,000 people, would be able to have a bunk, you know, that kind of conversation on something like that. And, um, well, those are the same odds as somebody from the outside discovering stuff in physics and I, now one is considered luck two discoveries a fluke three that means you're a legitimate you know yeah that's where you're supposed to be and um i've done more than two you know i've also explained that faraday's work you know like i figured i'd challenge that because it didn't make sense now, it might be on the videos earlier. I'm not sure. Um, but let's say, this is how I saw Faraday's explanation. Okay. Now, this thing sliding through this thing. Hold on. All right. This thing sliding through this thing sideways. It becomes electric charge because, and there was no explanation. And I was like, that's just not enough. And I was like, all right, let's cartoon this up. Let's comic it up. Let's take it all the way deep to DC. Comics. Did I mention the uh, little black mouse doing white face? Nobody even noticed. Everybody's like, woohoo! Like he's doing us. Um, but uh, I've seen the same thing happen in reality, you know? Like, uh, the little black mouse doing green face or blue face. He's doing blue face, all right? Yeah, he's doing blue face. Um, you know, black is white, as white as black. You know, one reflects, one absorbs the colors. Um, now, he represents the blue party or the red party, but I'm representing Blue Limited, which is a nonprofit for the people, for the children, for all of us. And I'm not going to pretend I'm like the best business person. Like, I'm not. But I am a person. I should be talked to as a person. I shouldn't be ignored. You know, there's whole other departments of the school for stuff like that. And, you know, Albert Einstein as a kid, when his sister came home, I mentioned this. You know, I mean, when his sister came home and he said, where are the wheels? And you'll see a couple, they'll come flying down. Hold on. Oh, this whole thing was busy a second ago. I'm just at a house. I don't know whose house it is. It's been empty forever. There's a lot of those, a lot of homeless people too. Um, but uh, where's the wheels? Oh, here comes a couple, here comes a couple. Oh, there they go. Look at those wheels. And then there's Stephen Hawking who explains that the math is there to support the physics. Math is not the physics alone. How do you get valuations without looking at the overall picture? Um, 
And I guess that's that. You know, like, the rest of the physics is on here. I apologize for, uh, I don't know, having reason to be frustrated. And, yeah, again, peace.